This is me, an architect, just like you. On this channel, I help you learn how to use AI in architecture like a pro. Today, we are going to take a real project and complete it together from start to finish with the help of AI. So get ready. We are about to start something exciting and interesting. And by the way, don't worry about the future. AI can never truly replace with an architect. Here is the empty location where our project will be built. Our job is to design for this site. As an architect, you have to visit the site in person, study it carefully, take photos, and gather important details like site geometry, access routes, sunlight direction, project views, and many other details. Right now, Milad and I are doing exactly that. Milad is incredibly skilled, both in architecture and photography. After a true side inspection and a lot of photo taking, I selected one of his shots for our design process. And honestly, Milad's photo looks great. The only instruction we have received from the client is that they want a minimal design, but also something visually striking. So I'm going to start by using Stable Diffusion AI to remove all unwanted elements in front of the project site. To do this, I simply import the photo into the AI, mask each unwanted element and remove them one by one. For example, I will start with this tree. I mask it and type in the prompt, remove this tree and hit generate. As you can see, the AI does a great job. Step by step, I repeat this process for every element until the foreground is completely clear and ready for design. Here is the before and after image. As you can see, AI helped me reach my goal perfectly. The first step in any design process is watching. What does it mean? meaning looking at a large number of high quality examples from other architects. Doing this sparks your creativity and helps you produce stronger designs. But today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to give the AI all the information I want to work with and see how it designs for me. I'm going to ask it to create a seven story minimal building in three point perspective. The first two floors are stores and the top five floors are residential. The facade materials should include white brick, black metal, concrete, and cement. I hit generate and wait. From the AI outputs, I selected four images. None of them are directly usable, but they are great for inspiration. For example, this design uses continuous flowing lines across the facade. I love that look, but for a seven-story building, it might feel repetitive. Another image uses only black and white to create a beautiful high contrast look. I'll adopt this idea by swap the color placement. I'll show you later. In the third image, there is a large section of solid surface without windows. A great way to achieve a minimal style. The last image has a protruding form for windows that makes the building more three-dimensional. I'll use this idea too. Now I'm going to use these AI-generated ideas as inspiration and sketch my initial concept. I start with a rectangular value, the main building mass. I shade the lower part of the mass to indicate where I want black material. Then I add details from the ideas that we talked about earlier. Once I have a rough concept, it's time to develop it further with more precise details. For this, I'm using Clip Studio because it has excellent perspective tools. But you could use any other drawing software like Photoshop or even Sketch on paper. I import the side photo, click the ruler icon and choose the perspective ruler tool. By using this tool, 
I align guidelines with the photo's existing parallels to establish the vanishing points. Because of the camera angle, our image has three vanishing points. Now, with the perspective set, I select the pen tool, reduce its size, and start drawing. The software automatically takes my drawing lines to the vanishing points, making it much easier to create an accurate perspective drawing. I start by drawing the vertical lines of the building. Then by using the linear ruler tool, I divide one of these lines into eight equal segments. Remember, this building has seven floors, so I begin adding horizontal lines to separate each floor. Now we have the overall shape and base structure of the building. At this point, I use the project plan provided by the client, along with the design ideas we discussed earlier, to sketch the building's details. Things like windows frames, entrance location, balconies, shop fronts, rooftop feature, and so on. I keep these details very simple to maintain the minimal style requested by the client. Once the initial sketch is complete, I use shade of gray and black to define the main surfaces. This helps the AI understand exactly what I want and which materials I intend to use in specific surfaces. Next, I import my sketch into Stable Diffusion AI. In the prompt, I ask the AI to transform my drawing into a realistic style. I also specified that the gray and black sections should be made of black metal or red brick. And the main building walls should have white brick. Finally, I hit generate. The AI produces two outputs, and I take one of them into Photoshop to place it into its actual site context. And here's the final design for our project. I hope you enjoy this process and the finished result. Thank you and bye for now.